And today we find that the international media, whether it be the television satellite channels, whether it be the newspapers, whether it be the magazines, you find that Islam is in the firing line. Even on the internet, there is virulent propaganda about Islam. And I personally do agree with the statement of Lord Richard Haynes, the Consul General of USA to Chennai, when he said that the American nation is not against Islam. And I do agree with him. I've been to America several times. The American people as a whole, the American people as a whole, I do agree with him, the American people as a whole, they aren't against Islam. And same thing, I tell my Indian brothers, that the Indian Hindus as a whole, they aren't against Islam. They aren't. We have got several Hindu friends. No problem. It is only a small group of Indians. For the personal gains, they may try to malign Islam. It may be a small group of Westerners. For the personal gain, they may try to malign Islam. For the personal reasons. Some people, because they want to come in power, it's an easy vote bank to create a tension between two communities. Some people, to divert the mistakes made by the head of state, he diverts the attention by creating another scenario, making Islam in the firing line. So I do agree that as a whole, the American nation is not against Islam. As a whole, the non-Muslims of India aren't against Islam. It is only a selected few. And these people, they are controlling the media. According to Time magazine, an article came on the 16th of April, 1979, it said that more than 60,000 books were written against Islam in a span of 150 years. More than 60,000 books written against Islam in a span of 150 years. And if you calculate, according to this article of Time magazine, more than one book is written against Islam every day. Every day. And the media, I blame the media, and I blame the politicians. The problem that we have today in the world, according to me, the root cause is the media and the politicians. I'm sorry if I hurt anyone's feeling. I'm not targeting any particular people, but just this is my opinion. That the media, if you analyze, I know there are many journalists out here. So, but as I mentioned in the morning, that the many journalists who are truthful and they really give a good view, it is, when I say majority, it means more than 50%. It doesn't mean all. It means more than 50%. And if we analyze that today, selectively, the Muslims are being targeted on the media.